Will you make me a Christian? Oh, oh. You're doing your same shit. I can take your dog when I get older. Don't play. Oh, I'm trying to answer that for the minor Spanish. What's up, boo? What's up? I don't give a fuck. I'll take that job, too. What's up? You going to be a lawyer? You going to be a lawyer? Nope. I didn't fight. I didn't leave the hand. I'm done. Just for the facts don't matter. I'm going to pull that job. I'm going to pull that job. I'm going to pull that job. How y'all doing per usual black love pride and power um you gotta know yourself to love yourself to love your people and your favorite auntie jai is coming at you with some realness um per you per usual you know how we do anyway uh i got my cup y'all say king i would be sipping tea but it's 94 degrees out here in sunny Southern California, so I got my ice cold water, nice and refreshing. And I'm coming at y'all instead of with the tea, I'm coming up with that refreshing realness of spring water. So be prepared for that one. Anyways, this video now, um, I'm still, I'm, I'm doing this. I mean, I want everybody to watch this, but especially this one goes out. I made this just for my cougar fam, my black cougar fam. It's been a minute since I've been able to make something for y'all. And when this shit went down, unfortunately, you couldn't come drag me from the AA Center to make me deal with the bullshit. I was out here in sunny Southern California promoting my business. <laughs> hold on, hold on. With that being said, um, it's all good and it's all love. I know plenty of people want to know how I feel about the situation because I think we can all agree things would have went a lot differently um, if I was around. So, first things first. I want to give a little disclaimer. I do not agree with this video. I think it was some fuckery. Um, and I do happen to know majority of the people, of the women that I saw in this video, whether or not we were friends or you know your people I know and I associate with or you know I see around so these are all I'm, I'm speaking because I, I, I know y'all and I'm everybody know me I'm gonna keep it 100 I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna let y'all know what it is so um, with that being said I'm in no way shape or form on the side of the European in this situation but I'm gonna keep it 100 I'm going to keep it all the way real. I'm going to sit here and dissect this from start to finish. And we're going to do it for real. And if you can't handle the realness, this is one of them times where you might want to pause it now and walk away. Because I know y'all have a habit of getting mad at me for being 100 from time to time. With that being said, I'm going to just jump into it. Um... Number one, why did y'all bother to even engage with this dude? You know, I got a, I got a little anecdote for you guys. Um, back in high school, it was my junior year of high school, I went from going to school in L.A. to going to this all-white school in the boonies in the middle of nowhere in the state of Washington. And uh, this ignorant white boy was on the bus, and this ignorant black boy was also on the bus or whatever. Um, and they were talking about how great America is. I'm like, what? Shit, Africa is the greatest. You know, I didn't really know nothing about Africa or being an African or whatnot. I just knew that, I just knew enough to know that, you know, Africa is where it's popping at, you know? Um, however, because I was not well versed and I did not have the knowledge that I have now, I looked very, very stupid when I engaged in this argument. 
um, mind you, there was a continental African sitting in the seat before me. I, I believe he was from Kenya. I'm not sure. Um, I wonder how he's doing, by the way. I, I, mean, I had so many continental homies back in back the year. Like, that's why I love my continental brothers and sisters. But anyways, and he also taught me a very important lesson. We're going at it in this argument. And I'm sitting here and I'm mad. And my blood's boiling. And I, I don't really have much to say because I don't know, I don't have knowledge on what I'm talking about. I just know that I'm right. Which is facts. I was right. But without nothing to back that up, I was just angry. And then dude said something like, oh. Africa has no the black dude says something like, Oh, this Africa has nothing to offer the world but poo huts. Now, if at the time I knew that Africa is literally the source of the world's wealth, whether it be minerals, vegetation, um, technical technological advances, uh, fabric, this you I mean you name it, Africa is literally the world's major source of that. Um, if I'd have known all that then, then I would have been able to back up the facts I'm like, uh pause it's like you tried it but instead i did not know any of that so i'm just pull huts pull huts that's not true how you how and then how can you say that i'm talking to the black guy and i'm looking at the other african dude i'm like you know you're gonna let them just say that because he was from the continent and you know he had moved over there like a couple years before you know and he and he was like i he said i don't have time for that <laughs> you know and i'm sitting here so mad that he won't engage and i'm so mad that this white boy said this shit and that this black boy is backing it up and stuff and I'm just sitting here really just yelling my ass off being angry not saying anything substantial when ultimately it wasn't worth my time just like the continental boy who knew everything about it, who knew everything they were saying was ridiculous and wrong he just decided it's not worth my time and energy and so watching this when I watched this video if you would have caught me several years ago when I was younger and um, not all the way to where I am now and whatnot and this, that, and the third, then yeah, I would have been outraged and I would have been, you know, wanting to go back and forth with words and shit and whoop do about you and I might have even wanted to throw hands, but ultimately, for what? We know these crackers ain't shit. We know they ain't talking about nothing. Why waste your time with energy? I don't want to stray too far from my points though, so I'm gonna just jump back on it. Number two, the um, the take your job. Um, again, this is another sister that I've seen around and whatnot I'm familiar with. But <laughs> chances are, even with your degrees and even when you are more qualified and um more more submerged in the because I don't I don't I won't say more educated because I don't see university as an education system I see it as an indoctrination system um, which is exactly what it is so even though you may be more um, indoctrinated than this man is and more versed in, in the methods and tools of indoctrination chances are he still gonna come out on top you know and, and, to, and to back it up 12.4% of um, African people are more likely to be unemployed versus the, I think it was, versus the 5.2% 5, 5 of, of, of white people with college degrees that are likely to be employed, unemployed, and that's three times, that's nearly, not quite three times, I know man, guys, it's nearly three times as much um, as them. And that's not even including jobs where you get the job in your field of study. So you can be an African person with a degree working at a warehouse and that still counts as an African person with a degree who's employed versus an African person with a degree <coughs> in, um, with a degree in finance who's working at you know a bank firm or something like that. So they don't care where you work if you have a degree, you're still almost three times as likely to not have a job as this white person. Um, with that being said, a black person with a college degree is still two times less likely to be hired than a white person with a diploma. That means that for every two white people with a high school diploma, one black person with a college degree is getting a job.
Um, and I'm just going to segue into, that's going to just segue to my next point, number three, the I'll take your job too. Uh, Chancey, we, 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 we not in that kind of position to be taking white people's jobs because it's their shit and they're going to get it regardless if the numbers don't lie to that fact. However, the point isn't to take his job. The point is to create your own job as an African person. Instead of us going around, going and submitting to our own insta uh, um, indoctrination to go and beg the same people who've been fucking us over since they drug us here for a job is ludicrous to me. Why? Why? When you could have spent all that time, all that money that you spent in loans, all that money that you spent in all that other kind of stuff could have been spent in starting and creating your own something that you did not need a degree to do. Just saying. I think what it is is more of us are scared to, to um, because it is scary. It's not easy and it is scary and it's real hard work to say I'm going to stand on my own two feet and create something of my own as an African person in this country. Um, it, it is more familiar and it does feel more secure to uh, go the traditional means, which is begging these crackers and, um, and accepting our, our indoctrination and our colonization. That shit is much easier than what I'm doing. I guarantee you nearly every person at that university who is an African person who still believes in that system does not have what it takes to do what I'm doing. Um, which is fine, you know? Not, not, everybody's, not everybody's built for it. But we, we've misplaced our values on that one if you think the goal is to take their spot in their shit. Why do you even want to be a part of yeah. But then again, you go to that school. I mean, you go to school, period. So, that part. Um, number four. When he said, oh, so you're going to be a lawyer? And then it went, nope. Um, I don't I don't know any, any lawyers with a finance degree major and a minor in Spanish. But, but hey, you know, honestly, after people... Fuck this justice system anyway. But the fact that he is actually going to school to become a lawyer says a ton, a ton about one, this justice system, two, the people who are running this shit and who are in it, and three, the another chip stacked up against Joe As as an African person in this country. You know, to know that this guy is going to sit here and finish school and whatnot, and then potentially represent. An African person without having their best interest in the part, say if he's like a assigned or appointed district attorney, or um, also just as bad, he's going to be the person who is on the other side trying to prosecute you and trying to prosecute your people. There ain't enough water in this cup. There is not enough water in this cup, y'all. I can't. I can't. That's definitely a cause for concern. Okay, next point. Uh... Camila, I see you, girl, with the hands. I was like, yeah, that's my verse right there. I love you, girl. You know I do. I ain't even really got it. So I just wanted to give you a little shout out on that one. That's my beach. Um, Next one. Uh, white people are the biggest terrorists to hit America. Facts. Facts. No printer. Okay. Um, but not just America. Kind of the world. So... Yeah, I mean, you had them on that one, but that's like really the, the system here, that's really like the only thing that you kind of said that that had any substantial anything, and even still, you weren't, you got to be able to back that shit up. If you're going to pop off, if you're going to go and, and, and jump on the front line, you got to be ready, and anybody who knows me knows that I, all this is just being said with realness and love. It's genuine realness and love. You got to be ready, and if you're not ready... You might want to be like the fine brother behind you and stand there like this. Plus, also, it wasn't even worth the time, but that was that was a factual point. Yes, Europeans have been the biggest terrorist to this country since its inception. There's no there's no getting around that. Okay. The next one. When you said that white people created slavery. You walked into that one. Because he was absolutely factual when he said that Arabs started the slave trade in Africa. They did. 
12,000 years before Europeans showed up in Africa. It was the Arabs with Islam doing the same thing that white people did with the Christian or with Christianity. Um, however, it's a matter of semantics because Europe, because Middle Eastern um, Arab people, they're they're basically dark skinned Europeans. They they all share the Neanderthal DNA. They all share the Rehuses monkey blood. They're just all just different. They're just darker Europeans. So it's, it's more so of a matter of semantics. But since you didn't know that. And you were not in a in a space to have that that extra piece of knowledge there. When he said that, it just left you looking kind of we being right. It kind of left you looking dumb on that point. Um, but if you were to know that, then you could have came back with that, and then it would have been like, oh, new point. However, the again, this this why are we engaging with this dude? Um, hmm. The knowledge you have, or the knowledge I have, you will never have. And um, my knowledge is above your knowledge. <laughs> it's the way that, I mean, I know what you mean, but the way you constructed those sentences and how you use them and put it together didn't make you seem like a more intellectual person and also <clears throat> the knowledge that you have has all been given to you by this guy and his people everything that you have learned in school from kindergarten up until where you are now is not your knowledge at all it's not even real knowledge um, it's all contorted and miscontorted information and it's the same as his uh, so with with that being said ain't nothing I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that's 100 ain't nothing in that institution ain't shit they can tell you that that's gonna be worth anything it really isn't like just a, just a quick background on me because, I mean, I, this young lady who was doing majority of talking, I don't know her. I think she's new there. She might have transferred or just came this past year. I dropped out last May, so I haven't had the, the pleasure of, of, her, of her getting to meet me and know me and know who I am. And we do blah, 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 blah. with that being said, when I was there my last school year, I sat down with every single one of my professors and I told them why they are wasting my time and money and why there is nothing that they can teach me. And I gave them all the opportunity to rebuttal that and to come with facts on why I'm wrong. And none of them could do that. None of them could do it. It all ended up with, well, I hope you come to class. <laughs> you know, I would still love to see you here, but you're kind of right on that one. So just, just even the fact that the people that you were going to to educate you can't even factually, you know, convinced me to, st to stay it's just it just shows that the the knowledge that you're seeking and obtaining is beneath what what you deserve to know and who, who you are and what you deserve you get the point um the african video so juvenile i'm about to put some more. i'm almost out of water i keep sipping but i need to pour some more but that was so that was just so tacky that was so tacky, like, for real, and just even the construction of this entire video, how the whole thing was put together is so fucking mediocre, like, <laughs> it's pathetic, the whole video construction is pathetic, and it's beneath, <laughs> so why, why even be so bothered, why even be so mad, like, the shit is just this close to being comical that something so petty something so mediocre something so pathetic like the fact that it had the ability to get under there so many people's skin the way it did i'm just sitting here like if y'all came to get my ass from up in the AA center while i'm eating on my alkaline vegan peach cobbler and reading my malcolm x portable um portable reader or whatever to go and do this shit for it to come out like this i'd have been hot with y'all don't come get me because it's a waste of my time. Like, the, yeah. Next. 
uh, the SAC, he asked her SAT score, and I'm like, this old ancient ass cockazoid chocolate thought crawling out, crawling out of the Caucasus Mountains, Rehusa's DNA having dog hair, wet dog hair smelling ass, gonna sit there and ask the girl about her SAT score. First off, even to get into Washington State University, you did not have to have that high of an SAT score. Um, and I'm pretty sure, even still, mine kind of shitted on, I'm not going to say that part, but um, definitely on his. And even still, after all of that, an SAT score is not a substantial test of someone's level of intelligence, especially as an African person. So to even use the SAT as a backing statement on why you're smarter than an African person, it's impossible. It's impossible because that test is not constructed in a way to accurately measure that situation. So shut it down. And I wish the sister could have known that or have took the time to think about that so that instead of being caught with the... She would have hit him with the facts and then he would have been caught with the uh for a moment there. Can't be, you can't be jumping on the front line not ready. I used to do it. I used to do it since I used to jump right out there. I used to put my neck on the line and everything. And not ready. All heart. No nothing to back it up. It's not, It's not. One, it's not smart. Two, it's not healthy. Because it ain't always necessary to jump out there. Like, this whole, this whole video, this whole everything could have been avoided if nobody spoke to this dude. Like, then, one... None of they blood, none of the sisters in the videos, blood pressures would have been all ran up, all hot and bothered and shit, because they would have never spoke to him. And then this video couldn't have been created to get everybody else pissed off, because nobody would have spoke to him. Like clearly, this is a European male in this country with a Trump shirt on. What good do you think can come out of even a, like engaging in anything? You know, I don't want to walk the same direction as do. That's too much for me. Anyways, um. When was America great for anyone else besides white men? Well, we all know the answer is never. But why the fuck would you ask a white man? Why would you ask a white man when America was great for anybody else besides white men? You know, clearly, he's not qualified to answer that question. And if you do dignify him with being qualified by even asking him the question, then you can't expect his response to be anything else but what the fuck it is. Why would he even care about what America is like for everybody else when he's not everybody else? It's just... It was a cute question, but it was a pointless question. And you asked the wrong person. Um, yeah, no. Okay, the go back to Africa. If I'm not mistaken, you can only send half of that sister back. Um, so he ain't even, and that's if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. Uh, if I if I recall, um, that sister is biracial. If I'm wrong, my bad. But if I'm right, just the, just like you can't do, do. How you gonna? You can't eat out of everybody else in that group. That you could have said that it might have had a little bit of foundation. You're going to tell the person who you can't even... Which... What? Anyways, with that... Even with that being said, the whole go back to Africa thing. The fact that he even said such a overused, de passe, cliche in such a... It's just so tacky. This, but this is who you're arguing with. Like, I'm talking to my people right now because all I can talk to is African people. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I'm talking to my people because I'm not going to waste my time talking to nobody else. It's not going to do shit. But waste my time. So this is why I'm talking to my people. If you ain't caught that already, this is what I do. I talk to African people. I talk to black people. Continental and diasporic. This is what it is. I'm talking to you because... Yeah, I'm not going to, y'all the ones who need to hear what I got to say. With that being said, the go back to Africa thing, like, ain't even no more water in my cup. I need to refill that shit, but he tried it. He definitely tried it with that one, but however, 
However, send my ass, okay? I took my DNA test. I know I'm Congolese, Ghanaian, and Nigerian. So please, I want you to buy my first class ticket and ship my ass right on back. And, and while you're shipping us back, let us take everything the African people brought to, the, brought to this shit, okay? And it would be helpful if you could just reinstall my native tongue so I don't have to learn that shit all over. But hell, he, I, I won't even be as petty as to ask for my language back because you can't even give it to me. But what I will do is hop on that first class flight and make sure you send me with several racks as well for my reparations because the price, price of that plane ticket is not covering it, boo. Hmm. So, yeah, for surely, yeah, I will, I will gladly go. <laughs> I will gladly go. And that's the thing. Everybody want to tell niggas to go back to Africa. Ain't nobody trying to send them. And then when we tried to go back, they went and, and did all that shit that they did to Marcus Garvey and completely fucked everything up. And even now, I meet brothers and sisters, elder brothers and sisters who, during the 60s and during the 70s, all tried to move, uh, go to Africa. They wouldn't let so many African people travel back to Africa at the same time. If you were an African person who was born in America and who has been here for um, for generations and whatnot, they they would start fucking like you like be like a mass group of African people, American African African people in America, go buy their tickets and go and try to hop on the plane and go. And for a, a large chunk of them, for some reason there'd be complications or they couldn't do this or wouldn't do that. They will not let us all go at one time. They're not letting that shit happen. <laughs> so don't, don't tell me to go back and you won't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna say, how you say go back but don't let me go? Like, you can't sit there and hog tie me and then tell me to run. Like, how? How, Sway? How? Like, say what you need to say. Say what you really mean. They don't mean that shit. They don't, they don't want us to go. And they know they ain't, they know they can't do shit without African people. Um, basically, to sum it all up, I'm gonna I'm put it down like this, y'all. A couple more points, let's say. This whole situation was clearly, clearly, undeniably beneath the beautiful African goddesses who partake in this conversation. Um, clearly beneath. Clearly. But when you decided that this ancient ass institution was right for them, or, or when you decided that this ancient ass institution was right for you, when you decided to participate in your own indoctrination when you decided that these degrees and whatnot and this education I'm gonna call it what it is this this indoctrination that you're pursuing was worth something that's when you put yourself on his level it's truth that's the moment that you decided that everything that was made for him was good enough for you even though you are well, 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 well above this person, just by being an African person in this world, period, off top, when you decided that everything that was theirs was good enough for you, you put yourself and you placed your own value on his level, period. So, um, everybody being all upset. All my brothers and sisters, all my plan nieces and nephews being all pissed off. Everybody who's sharing this video and putting angry faces on people's Facebook timelines. For what? You did it to yourself when you agreed to this bullshit. You put yourself, literally, y'all put yourselves all the way into this situation. We know already that white people kind of ain't shit. We know already that Washington State University is full of bigoted just cave-minded just you know racist assholes we know all this so why are you all of a sudden just now with this video and with this with these rallies getting upset when this is something that you've known your entire life and since you've known since you decided to send in your two hundred dollar application fee to go to that bullshit you and if you didn't even know it then because i didn't know what i didn't know shit about wsu until i got there for orientation um the reason why I even decided to go in the first place, I have another vi YouTube video about that. But, you, we knew all this. This shit is not news. So why are you all of a sudden mad? Why are you just now getting mad when you get called a nigger bitch in a frat party and then get thrown out? Why are you... 
Why are you just now getting mad when they decide that you can't do this and they don't want you to do that? Why are you just now getting mad when they're allowing this big a European man to go out there and spew all of his Christian-based hate and shit? Why are you just now getting mad when they're having Trump rallies and supports and shit? Why are you just now getting mad when they're going on Yik Yak and going and saying all that and spewing all that fuck shit and whatnot? Why are you just not getting mad when this European man comes up to y'all and, and y'all choose to engage in a conversation with someone who you knew wasn't shit from the beginning? Don't be mad. Don't be mad when it's in your face when you know what's going on the whole time. Don't just now be mad. Like that doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. And then I'm I'm gonna say, mad for what? Mad for what? Cause y'all ain't gonna do shit. I'm sorry. What are y'all gonna do? You're gonna protest? You're gonna wear all black and lay on the front porch of the of, of the cub again and be mad when they mock that too? You you're gonna you're gonna yell at white people some more like this gonna change something? Why what be mad for what? My brothers and sisters at WSU, y'all not gonna do shit. You ain't never really did shit. And when I tell you the shit that you really if you really wanna see a change, if you really wanna see some effective shit. This is what you gotta do. Y'all don't really wanna do that shit because y'all don't want change. Y'all don't want this shit to no longer exist. Y'all want this stuff to be more comfortable. You like the you like the racism better when you don't have to when it's not in your face. You like the passive racism. You like the quiet racism. You're comfortable with the quiet racism. So that's why this got you mad. Because it's in your face now. It's not underneath the rug and you just walking on the rug with no shoes on knowing that this drug is nasty and trifling and uncomfortable it's in your face so I just, I just find it absolutely pointless for anybody to be upset about this for what if you're going to be mad about something then you need to be able to manipulate that energy and turn it into a solution and you need to be able to turn it towards the energy that you need to go and actually make some change come about with it don't just be mad for no reason because all y'all are mad for no reason this whole thing was beneath these queens it was beneath them but i already said once you once you decide that you know it's good enough for you then that's what you got to deal with i decided that it was not and i left they ain't getting no more dollars out of me they ain't getting no more time out of me i'm not spending no more money on they fuck shit i'm not doing it and i took all that and invested it into myself so guess what i don't have to worry about taking someone else's job because i created my own you know I don't have to worry about being mistreated on the job that I have because <laughs> I'm my own boss. <laughs> you know, I don't have to worry about, uh, and I'll say, uh, I'm say 98% because they still want this student loan money from me and I'm just not giving it to them. Different story. Uh, but with that being said, I, come on, y'all. You gotta, you know better, you do better. You can't say I ain't come with nothing but the facts. There is no way around it. Too many people, even at the university, have tried to convince me that we can't do shit without master's degree. And the only way we'll prove that we're better than them is to do it their way, which is dumb as shit. This shit is illogical. Holistically illogical. Y'all can keep begging for a seat at master's table if you want to. But when you're ready, for real, for real, which chances are no time soon, then y'all go ahead and, and come see what it's like to have your own table. Your own seat at your own table with the food that you put on your own table that you have your own seat at. But until then, <laughs> stop tagging me. <laughs> Don't tag me no more. Uh, all all y'all gonna do is be mad for no reason. I ain't, you ain't gonna do shit. You gonna still go there. You know, oh, and also, another thing. Why I hope I really hope y'all ain't gonna hold y'all breath and wait for administration to do something about this shit. Cause they're really not. Nothing for real anyway. You know, I've seen on my timeline, oh, um, you know, you just wait or whatnot and you know, we'll do all this other kind of stuff, like you're gonna get administration involved in some shit. They don't care. They don't give two flying flamingos about y'all. I'm tired of, I was tired of being out there marching to the middle of nowhere where they told us that we can march and not wanting to offend or piss off this and that. And then we're going to be all inclusive with a whole bunch of other people who don't give two flying flamingos about African people in this, um, uh, in that institution. So, uh, in, the, in the institution, I was over it. I was over it. They ain't gonna do shit. Nobody, nobody in that whole, in this entire institution globally, this white supremacy institutions, 
globally, but especially here in this country, they don't give a fuck about you. So until you start fucking with them where they do give a fuck, which is their pockets, for what? Y'all still gonna go to WSU, you still gonna sit there and, and pay your tuition, you're still gonna sit there and buy stuff from campus, you're still gonna sit there and do all of that. So no, they are not tripping. They might, I mean, and that's the thing, they could right now say, oh, well, we're, the university wants no involvement in this, you know, it's free speech on the trail, they're allowed to have their views and whatnot. Yes, it was distasteful, but that's about it. Y'all still gonna go to class. <laughs> you still gonna go to class. You still gonna make sure that your your um, tuition paid. You still gonna you know pay for your dorm and shit. You're still gonna do all of that. So it does not matter to them. Not for real anyway. But I'm gonna just wrap it up at that. Per usual, y'all. This is your favorite Auntie Jai, aka Third Eye Jai, aka J Ajane, aka just Jai coming at you with the realness, holistically, 360 degrees. You know. And for anybody who goes to WSU now who does not know me, who watches this, please go and find and ask somebody who really does. Not the people who think they know me, but the people who really do know who I am and what I've done for the African community there and what I try to continue to do and whatnot um, so that you can have a little bit of a context of who exactly you might be getting mad at for telling the truth. Um, with that being said, per usual, y'all, it's all love. And, and you know let's let's get it popping in the comment sections let me know what y'all think after you've watched the whole thing and then we'll see if you know we'll see what's real with it um i still love my cougar family but the shenanigans and the fuckery like my my level of tolerance has it's no longer existent Mwah.